Hello. Is that you, Nick? I see. I see. Hi, Nick. Good evening, everyone. Mr. Mayor, thank you for being here. It's an honor to have you here. Commissioners, uh, I would like to officially call to order the July 6th Community Service Commission meeting. And uh, if you all stand now, Commissioner Gould will lead us in the pledge. Commissioner Gould. To the flag, to the flag of the United States of Thank you, Commissioner Gould. Just wanted to start off the meeting by saying that Commissioner Betts um, is on in attendance tonight, so we wish her well wherever she is. And I would now like to, um, as a chair, um, call for public comments. I'll just read the statement. This is a time for the public comments to the public to address the commission on matters not on the agenda and within the jurisdiction of the Community Service Commission. Comments should be limited to three minutes per speaker. You'll see the clock up on the screen. It'll turn red in the last 30 seconds. If you'd like to participate, if you haven't already, please fill out a speaker card that's at the back of the council chambers, and please hand it to um, Ms. Lisa Bergman. And your name will be called. Please step up to the podium. Speaker cards, again, are available on the view table in the back if you have already filled one out. Madam Commission Secretary, do you have any speakers? Yes, Madam Chair, we have one request to speak, and that's Mayor Robert Pequeno. Thank you. Welcome, Mayor Pequeno. Thank you. Director Channing, Chair Matzel, Commissioners. After a two-year hiatus, the parade was back in town. The Fourth of July parade has been a tradition in Lake Forest for over 30 years. Um, my family and I have attended the, the parades over the years, and uh, I attended the parade as a deputy. I worked the parade as a deputy. And in 2019, I, w I went to the parade as a commissioner, and I had the honor of being the mayor the year that we get it back. And I wanna thank first Larla Sack, Courtney Wasoski, and Ariel Corral, and the rest of the volunteers uh, of this year's parade that made it the best parade ever for the Pecanio family. And I'm pretty sure for everybody else that went. As you know, I have a deep admiration for city staff. Your work, hard work, and dedication is, and all you do is the reason that I love Lake Forest. So. I'm honored to be the mayor this year, the year that we had the best 4th of July, 4th of July parade of all years. And thank you, Chair Channing, for your leadership. And I still have two minutes, so I'm just gonna keep talking. I'm just kidding. So, no, but thank you, uh, commissioners, for what you do. And uh, thank you, uh, Margie and Loretta, for your, your volunteering. But once again, Laura, awesome job. Thank you.
Thank you, Mary Pequeno. And I, I do think it was appropriate because, as we all know, and I think people forget, we get speakers that sometimes come up and don't know that you, as you said, served our country in the Marines, served the county, protecting us as an Orange County deputy sheriff, and now you're serving our city. So I feel it was very appropriate to have you um, be the mayor of the year that the parade was back. Thank you for the kind words, and uh, thank you for all you do for our city. We, we're really lucky to have you as our mayor. Thank you. And are those the last of the comments, uh, Madam Secretary? Yes, Madam Chair. Thank you. Okay, uh, now we have items on the consent calendar. Uh, commissioners, uh, speakers, anybody would like to pull anything from the consent calendar to speak about? Any items? No? Okay, seeing none. Um, first of all, we'll call for the approval of the minutes of the Community Service Commission meeting of June 8, 2022. <laughs> Are there any comments or corrections on the uh, minutes from the last meeting? Oh, yes, I have a correction. Vice Chair Heron, please. Okay, let me get there. It is, well, it says page seven. It would be under my comments. Mm -hmm. um, towards the bottom, it'll, it says, um, lastly, the California Session and Parks and Recreation Commission board members are hosting the national, but they're not hosting. They were promoting it. They were kind of like, don't forget. So um, if you could just fix that, that would be excellent. Thank you. Commissioner Gould, Commissioner Chair, any comments? No. Okay. Thank you for um, that comment, Vice Chair Heron. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, we move on to um, item two on the consent calendar recreation asked like forest tickets. Uh, Deputy City Manager, any? comments on that chair matt so these uh this is just one of um two consent calendar items so the the commission can vote on the consent as a calendar as a whole and there's no presentations from staff thank you uh do i have a motion to approve the consent calendar items i shall move can i hear a second I'll second okay thank you call for the vote That motion passes 4-0 uh, with the correction noticed by Vice Chair Heron. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, now we will move on to discussion items. Um, Deputy City Manager Channing, can you uh, start us on that? Absolutely. Thank you, Chair Matzel. Uh, for this item, it's our June recreation report. I'm going to pass it over to our recreation manager, Laura Rilisak, who's going to give uh, this report for you. Good evening, Chair Matzel and fellow commissioners. Tonight I'm here to present the items and programs that we had during the month of June. As you know, June be began uh, with some exciting programs, um, including our movies in our park um, on June 10th. So if you were able to attend, um, we had Encanto. We had over 600 people there. For our first movie in the park, that's a lot of people. Probably more than any of our other parks um, in the, or the movies in the park um, during the summer, so that was great attendance. As, as you can see in that picture below, mm -hmm. we had quite a few people there. We also had some new food vendors, so that was exciting um, for some of our families to see that as well. And as you see below that, we had our Flag Day celebration. Some of you guys were there um, to celebrate the installation of our new flag at Veterans Park. Mm -hmm. So we were really proud um, to be able to celebrate not only with the community, but with our dignitaries as well. And we had actually 75 people in attendance, which was also, um, extremely um, well you know um, celebrated so that was nice and you can see those are some really nice pictures to follow as well we had two cub scout um, uh, leaders that were there along with the color guard from the sheriff's department and mayor pequeño was there to address the crowd uh, we had our first concert in the park june 18th um, that was a nice um, kickoff for the summer as well we had uh, stevie nicks and tom petty cover bands um, just ramping up so even though the numbers look lower I know you guys are used to seeing some higher numbers we're just getting started so next concert will be um, the end of this month July 20 or July 30th at Pittsburgh Park and that should be um, another great attended uh, concert we had all of our camps have begun we are halfway through camp now um, we have little wranglers our creative kids club and our unplugged 
Um, so again, those, as we know, we um, reported on those in May, that all those camps have sold out and continue to see people on the waiting list and people getting in because people's plans change and, and we're able to accommodate all those kids that are on the waiting list. So it's nice to see all the kids that have something, you know, to do during the summer, whether it be one of our staffed camps or one of our other contract class camps. Um, following that, you can see all of the numbers that have increased for our contract classes and our sports field permits. Um, the numbers just continue to grow, um, which is always exciting to see. And again, with the community center rentals, those numbers are growing as well. We really ramped up in June with all of our graduations and our holiday celebrations, getting ready for 4th of July. We had a lot of summer parties that have begun with um, family gatherings and things like that. Over in the clubhouse, I'm gonna cover for Vicki tonight. They've also started with their excursions. So if you haven't uh, seen one, signed up for one, you should do so. Their numbers are starting to, to gain momentum as well. The first one was on June 8th. They went to Pachanga. They took a very nice luxury bus. Um, they had over 43 of the seniors um, take that bus and had a great time. They also started their bunko. So bunko's back. I know you guys have asked for those um, bunko nights. So those are back. They had 39 registered. Um, great time, and the next one will be August 5th, so mark your calendars for that. We also had prime timer games, which is always fun for some of the city staff to see because they hit these um, 50 and better uh, community are outside in our little courtyard area doing these activities, and it's quite um, amazing and amusing, both the same um, thing as, as they're doing the poker walk or their dice derby and um, all the different activities. Courtney has them outside doing some wonderful activities, so it's nice to get them out and moving. And they had over 40 people participate, and then over 100 people that actually stayed and watched the award ceremony, so that was really good. Clubhouse had a lot of activities going on. You could see some of these cute pictures. Courtney actually had these trophies that were she made up for them, and, and the headbands, and so they, they thought they were the real deal there. Um, they also did a fa Father's Day celebration, also in the month of June. They did a hot dog barbecue party, so it's kind of like a, a barbecue celebration, and, and we're able to celebrate all those dads and gentlemen that, are, that attend the clubhouse. I really wanted to highlight the clubhouse attendance. As you can see, we're really um, picking up speed there, and we had an increase of over 450 from the months from May to June, um, and it's only gonna grow larger after the summer is over. Summer usually takes a dip, so you'll see a dip probably in July and August, but back up in September. Now over to Etney Skate Park, not to forget about them. They had their, as um, the guys had talked about, the roll apocalypse. That was the first time that they've ever had a uh, roller skating activity. So that was a different um, type of competition that they had. They had 69 competitors and over 230 spectators. So that was really cool. It's one of the largest roller skating contests in the country. And as you can see, there's some really cool pictures that are attached with that program as well. So I have a feeling that one will be coming back. So keep an eye out for it. We'll tell you all about it. And then that way you can attend and not mix the next one. And not to forget our favorite um, special friends and our special needs programs. Kevin does a great job with that. They had their summer buddies barbecue. And you could see the, the DJ and... Um, the barbecue party that they had there as well had a great time. I know that they had over 100 in attendance there, and it's always a very um, well received um, from all you know kids from all around the Orange County that come and do that. So that was a great event as well. And then just to highlight a couple of our calendar of uh, upcoming events, um, we have our second movie in the park, which is the 22nd. That'll be Sing Two. Uh, we are, like I mentioned, our other uh, concert at Pittsburgh Park, Common Sense and Redneck Rodeo. Some of you guys like Redneck Rodeo. I know that. Bunko, as I mentioned, and a couple other activities that are coming. And then don't forget, we have one more, um, one more concert at the end of August back at the sports park, Santana Ways, which is great, and Yachty by Nature, which is the group that we had last 4th of July. I will accept any questions that you may have for me. Nothing. Commission, any comments? Anyway, Laura, I hate to be repetitive, <laughs> but <laughs> all that and the parade too, that's my comment, so. Yeah. Thank you, Laura. The city is back and, but even when we were during COVID, you and Vicki and Courtney and 
Ariella still provided services and fun stuff to do either online. So um, anyway, thank you. I just want to say thank you. You and staff do a phenomenal job. And I was very excited to see what great numbers we have. We're making great progress, so thank you. I mean, well, it's all due to everybody's hard work. So thank you for that. And so I was gonna ask, in regards to um, our bookings, do we have any weddings yet? Oh yeah, we've had, we've had a few weddings. I can say we've honestly had two weddings with a reception to follow, but mostly receptions. But we've okay. actually had um, two yeah. weddings in front of the fireplace where they've actually, oh. we've set up the seats like oh. 80, 80 seats can fit comfortably across. I'll uh -huh. show you some, come by sometime and I'll show you some oh, pictures. I'd love to. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Anyway, it's just yeah. so exciting to see all these numbers. Oh, so, yeah. And of course, everything. Yes. So yeah. thank you. Of course. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you for doing Vicki's report as well. Thank you. Okay, next. Oh my goodness. Are we up to Deputy Senior Manager comments? Yes, thank you, Chair Matt. So just a few. Um, so as, as uh, Vice Chair Heron was kind of just hinting at, I just wanted to point out uh, what we're very excited is we've hit um, over 100% of our revenues budget for community services for the year, and this is just through May. So we haven't received June numbers just yet, but um, I know that was something the commission wanted us to be keeping a close eye on, as have we as staff. So just through May, we are at 103% of our uh, budgeted revenues for last fiscal year. So. Um, that's all is great news and I think a good sign of uh, that a lot of people have been participating in our activities and uh, word is out that people want to be back um, after COVID and, and taking part in recreation activities which so we're very excited about that and that's a lot also due to the great work of our staff that have brought people back which was the next thing I wanted to comment on just again um, how proud I am of of Laura and um, the rest of the team from Community Services, Courtney, we talked, um, Ariella and several others that really took the charge with the parade. Um, I think everything just uh, couldn't have gone smoother. Obviously there's little hiccups here and there, but nothing that anyone to the normally would notice. And um, I think there's, we're gonna continue to make it better as, as it continues. And we we're estimating about 14,000 people showed up, which um, it was full that entire parade route from beginning to end with three, four people deep. So um, I think the community, uh, we received a lot of great feedback from the community and um, I am just so proud of, of our staff and they all stepped up. It wasn't just, um, Laura, we had folks uh, from every facility there uh, on the 4th helping out in different capacities. So it really was a full department wide effort in putting that um, event on on the 4th of July. Um, I also wanted to follow up uh, with regards to the Foothill Ranch um, hockey rink. You may recall I mentioned we had um, a few outreach meetings um, scheduled at our last uh, commission meeting. And so we held those two, one at the park itself and one at Foothill Ranch Library. Um, we had uh, about four or five total residents show up and provide feedback. Uh, we're going to take that into consideration and, and um, we should be coming back to the commission uh, with that topic as well for some feedback with you. And then um, we'll be hopefully coming up with a project that will be going in front of the city council as part of the, the CIP budget for fiscal year 23-24 for their consideration and, and approval. Also, uh, I wanted to make an announcement that um, there is National Night Out on August 2nd at uh, the Sports Park. So I believe it starts at 5 or 5.30. I can't remember the exact starting time. Um, 5. Uh, so hope you guys can make it out. It's always a nice event um, there in the Commons at the Sports Park. And also, uh, the Chamber of Commerce is having their legislative luncheon this Friday at the Community Center at 11.30. So um, I believe you are all invited, so hopefully you'll be able to see some of you there as well. And uh, that's it for my report. Thank you, Deputy City Manager uh, Channing. Thank you so much. Um, okay, we are moving on to commission, commissioner comments. So. Uh, Commissioner Gould. 
Thank you very much. Um, so I had a few questions, and I'm not sure if this was talked about before, but for renovation and update to Heroes Park, is there a plan on what is being done over the summer months? Because I know that they closed the park for renovations. Yes, so um, just I think the standard field renovations are going on maintenance, um, dethatching, and um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Seeding, thank you, of the grass. And uh, But I don't believe there's any new turf being put down there, so it's just more maintenance of the turf that's there. Okay. And um, as far as I'm aware, that's all the, the main field renovations that will be going on this summer. No electrical work, underground electrical work? Over there. So the electrical underground work is a separate project, and that is something that's in this year's CIP. I believe that Public Works in their last update to us said they were going to try to do that electrical work between the fall and spring seasons. So the plan for that electrical work would be like the December timeframe. Okay. All right, cool, thank you. Sure. Um, so again, as far as the parks, the city staff has been great keeping up and helping us host tournaments that we had at Heroes and then they went off without a hitch. Everybody commented how great our parks were, so that was fantastic. Um, and we are looking forward to, from Lake Forest Little League, to these multi-day tournaments that are being hosted at Sports Park. Those are always wonderful and a great revenue generator because we're allowed to um, run the snack bar. So that's a huge thank you from Lake Forest Little League to city staff. And I know there's great back and forth between the two, and that's definitely appreciated. And then as far as the parade, as, a, uh, as people who spectated told me and as a participant, participant that was amazing it was fun to participate it was back and forth it was very easy to register and be a part of it and it was just amazing I got a lot of feedback from friends and neighbors about how great and organized that was so that was absolutely wonderful so thank you for all that hard work thank you Commissioner Gould uh, Commissioner Sher, your comments yes uh, I have a few comments it's certainly a busy time in the summer for everyone with children out of school and with summer activities and travel, uh, although we opt to stay local, we're not traveling uh, ourselves. But as far as the parade, we uh, rendezvous at the Madeira School for the commission participants, and we had this fantastic horse-drawn carriage. and. Uh, it was a lot of fun. It's been a two-year absence since the last time we were in the parade, I think, as well. And it was nice to, to be waving to folks on both sides of the street, and everyone had a smile on their face and uh, enjoying themselves. And uh, so I think it was an excellent event. I think on the commission, um, there were, uh, what, two of us? Uh, that represented yes. community services. Loretta, uh, Loretta was at waving from the, uh, from the, the par day. parade I desk. Walked with the little and you were? I walked with the little oh, you walked with the little league. Yeah. Okay, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. VIP seated? Oh, no, it's not. Yeah. Stevie? Okay, all right. Anyway, so. Um, well, I have a few other quick oh, yeah. things. Uh, then, uh, typically, I try my best to come once a, w a month to the senior center to attend their bingo. I mean, I don't play bingo, but they have a lunch in there. So it gives me a chance to meet and greet, to uh, circulate among the seniors, and it's always a festive environment. And uh, we had, uh, I think we had meatloaf and mashed potatoes and salad, and, so, and they do a great, the caterer does a great job. I think that was Yolanda, I think, who was there, and she's been working with the city for a number of years. So, you know, when you're, and then our mayor, typically will help serve and he was he's all over the place I, I don't know of any activity that you missed but um, it, it was a good um, outreach to see our, our residents having a great time there and the flag ceremony I was very excited to be part of that um, I was part of the initial steering uh, input committee when that was all put together at the Veterans Park, and I'm very happy it came to a successful conclusion, and the ceremony was fantastic. And it's such a great place uh, 
to walk and to to throughout the park. And even though it's surrounded by homes, um, it, it's still a very nice environment there for the most part. Uh, that's all I have. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Scheer. Yes, and just to uh, reiterate what you said, you kind of initially started. That park was always so great, and um, a lot of people that I work with had no idea, and I brought pictures back to the office, and the owner lives in there for us, and they didn't even know that wasn't a duck pond anymore. So the flag put a nice touch on it, yeah. and uh, very appropriate that our mayor was there, who served our country, uh, was the mayor to uh, raise that flag. So it was, it was kind of, you know, you hate to be corny, but you get a lump in your throat every time that flag goes up. So, so not too corny, right? Anyway, okay, Vice Chair Heron, your comments? All right. Thank you. Um, so I'm gonna start off with, on, I think it's page 22, page 13 of our agenda packet. Summer Buddies Barbecue. I think I'm missing the last sentence. <laughs> I asked about that because I saw it too, and I said, somebody's gonna ask about it, it's event. Oh. The last word <laughs> is event. I know. You, okay, event. event, so that's good. I okay, had to call Vicki. I was like, oh, what's missing here? All right. Um, and speaking of, I did attend the special needs barbecue and I was able to help out and what a great event. I mean, everybody's smiling, they're having a great time. I just, I love it. Anyway, so I got to help with the food. Um, and I also went to the Veterans um, Park Flag Day event. That was so touching. And by the way, great pictures in our packet of that. I showed them off at work. Anyway, um, so that was wonderful and I actually, uh, every night when I drive to work, I pass by that park and see that flag, and it just makes me feel, I guess, warm and fuzzy inside, you know? Yeah. So, and I too was on that original steering committee for that, so. Um, and of course, I went to the hockey rink meeting, and we had two very enthusiastic people there that were, you know, that were so nice to get that. Of course, I went to the parade meetings. Um, and I also attended the uh, clubhouse lunch with what, um, anyway, uh, that group, that whole clubhouse, so much energy from those, I hate to say seniors, because they're more than that. Um, and then they had that wonderful entertainment, that sax player, and he was phenomenal in that he was, he did it all. He played these instruments, and the music he chose, it was some of it was patriotic, but some of it, I mean, our, our people got up and danced, because that was their song or their era, and it was just so nice to see that. And I know my parents love to dance. Every minute they can, they're out dancing. And I thought, oh, mom, dad would love this guy. Anyway, so just, and um, of course the parade, and then, um, okay. Um, so my neighbor, little Kate, attended a couple of our camps. I think one was the princess one, and another, I can't remember what the other one was, but it was, she came home after the second week and she said, they talked about kindness again. <laughs> and her mother says, well, maybe it's important. <laughs> but I just thought you'd like that. because I mean, what a, what a good perspective, right? But I'm glad we're doing that. Um, and then, uh, oh, so I tried to go to the Lake Forest cleanup, but you guys are too fast. You were finished by the time I got yeah. there after work. So, but thank you all for always continuing to do that. Oh, for the parade, where can we watch it? We should have it up on YouTube. I'm telling people the week of the 18th. Oh, okay. Well, I'll look so he's already to he's already started editing it, but um, yeah. It usually I get, usually give him two weeks. I'll let you guys know. I'll send out the okay. email to the oh, committee. Oh, good. Yeah, because I will look forward to that. Oh, for sure. Yeah, and then I can brag some more. By the way, on the parade, I mean, all my neighbors are so grateful, and they had such a great time, and. I got such positive comments from everybody, you know, and I, I, as always, I totally enjoy helping with that. So thank you for letting me continue to do my job. <laughs> and, um, okay, so another great event that I attended uh, was our volunteer in parks. We had our little recognition. And what was nice is we had a meeting beforehand and we went around the table and said what our parks were and what our, you know, what we've come across and of course, we started brainstorming about all different things. And one of the things that was brought up is like, how successful the butterfly garden is at 
uh, Veterans Park, mm -hmm. and a lot of them said, I would like to see that at our other parks. So just, I guess, plant some milkweed and some other stuff, off we go. And even in some of the park medians, people suggested that would be nice to have some, you know, butterfly plants so we could help our butterfly population. But I thought that was a good idea. But it was really, really nice, um, and I so appreciate Public Works for all the stuff that they've done. Um, I've totally helped, I, I loved helping with that and checking on my parks and, you know, sending pictures like, ooh, little graffiti there, you know, sent that off. Um, and I, like I said, I, I, I mean, I also want to thank Public Works for that excellent program. So thank you for that. And I think that is it. So thank you. And of course, I'm looking forward to all of our activities. They're already on my calendar. I can't wait. So thank you again. Have a great summer. And once again, thank you all. Excellent, excellent work. So thank you. Thank you, Loretta. And she works like a job really late at night. So I don't know how you get up and do all these activities. Loretta is, our, she's a star. Um, uh, my comments. Um, just wanted to um, first say uh, the flag ceremony was really great. The, the flag being raised, as Loretta said, it's very emotional to pass by there. Um, I've kind of told people about the park that it's kind of different now. And I was explaining to um, somebody how there, it uh, mentions each branch of the Air Force, my dad being in the Air Force. And um, what a lot of people don't know is that the Army and the Marines, they, they were started what, a long time ago, 17, 1800s. The Air Force is kind of, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Mr. Mayor, uh, my dad was in the Air Force. So I think one of the last, arm, it used to be the Army Air Corps, but the Air Force started like, not until like the 1940s, am I sort of correct on that? Yeah, so that was kind of a lump. I took a picture to send to my dad, who I still have with me. Uh, yes, and um, the parade was great. Um, I was, two years we didn't have a parade, two years I wasn't on the committee for a couple of years, but I decided I wanna, wanna come back. I was there, the, uh, Laura was there when she first came over and, and took over, and I've seen a lot of improvements. Um, she takes suggestions like this year, uh, we used to just put tape, because uh, John and Rosalie and Lisa and I used to tape. So this year you would talk about the cones and I said, I haven't seen this. So now there's cones with spigots and they look like the numbers they put in the cars. For uh, being a stager on Toledo and Ridge Riders, what, that was fantastic. Right. What a difference, yeah. And you know, we had um, one, uh, person that came and we said, do you mind, you know, kind of just sitting, kind of piggybacking next to this person. People were just so nice. And um, so I got to um, roll off the porta potties and I thought I had to go up early, but I got there at 4.30 and Laura and Courtney were already there. So I have nothing to complain about. I think you got there, what, 3.30? Crazy. But for many years, I rolled off the porta potties. John thought that was a good job for me. So, <laughs> you know, John's been a friend of mine for many years, but he figured, yeah, Margie can do that. And I used to roll off with uh, this one gentleman, and Laura went to introduce me to him that day, and she says, uh, Margie, this is Alonzo. And I looked at him, and I said, Alonzo? He had actually taken a couple years off, and he came back, and uh, he said, I'll do it this year, and my new friend, Luis. So it was really nice. He knows the route. We kind of rolled him off a different way just to be a little bit more efficient. So it was nice meeting up with Alonzo again, so that was kind of great. Um, Loretta, as last night, too modest to mention, she did get a certificate and was recognized volunteers in the park last night. You can watch it on the uh, replay of the city council meeting. She got a certificate, I got pictures. I wanted to give it to somebody so we could post it up, but I knew she'd get embarrassed, so. But our, yeah, Loretta, Loretta's so, always so involved. Um, we were very fortunate to have our ho own hometown uh, sheriff, he used to be, people don't know, he was our, I think, lieutenant for mm -hmm. three, two, three years who's now the sheriff, he's there. How proud we are to have our sheriff there. And uh, Marilyn Barnes, um, as Victor mentioned, we rode on the uh, commissioner float and we were drawn by these two beautiful horses. I forget what breed, they mentioned what breed they were, but I remember the names, Megatron and Majesty. And they were so patient in the back lot because <laughs> I was trying to explain to the driver, we have to be called out and we all kind of merge in by number. His name was Buddy, so we thanked Buddy. It was a really smooth ride, and he was really great. He would weave on Toledo. He'd weave to the left side of the street so the kids could see him, then to the right side of the street, and then at the intersections, he would do the twirl while, so he, while the announcers made the announcements. By the way, the announce, announcers did a great job. It was really easy to hear them this year, very clear. Um, but anyway, I just wanna, 
uh, you know, say thank you to Laura, to Loretta, who was on the committee, all the committee members. Every time I called Ariella or Courtney, they picked up. And um, Laura, it was a great idea to go with cell phones. The walkie-talkies we used to use, as you, as you guys know, you couldn't actually tell. The only voice I ever recognized was Rich Farina. Everybody else, I'd go, Loretta, is that you, Lisa? I couldn't. Phones, easy. Your staff picked up every time I called, even with the silliest questions. And um, it was a great parade. And uh, I was watching the, the faces on the street, and you could see the excitement of not having a parade for two years. And the kids love the horses. <laughs> so much fun watching the doggies' reaction to the horses. You see these little tiny dogs who think, yeah, I can take on those two big horses. And they're barking and yelling. But anyway, thank you to uh, Mr. Channing and to uh, Laura and her staff. Ari, Ellen, and Courtney were great. And Loretta, thank you for being on the committee. Thank you. You are no kidding. And it was fun, fun being back. So Laura, you stuck with me now. <laughs> Again. So, so anyway, thank you to everyone, and uh, have a good summer. And um, Oh, one question, um, Mr. Channing. National Night Out is a Tuesday, so are they going to maybe not cancel the me council meeting or maybe make it shorter? There will be no council meeting that night. Oh. Perfect. Chairman Sullivan. Uh, Tuesday, August 2nd. That's a good, because, you know, that's great. Great idea. Okay. Oh, Vice oh. Chair Heron, please. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. I have one more thing. So at the next city council meeting on July 19th, we will be honoring, uh, well, California Association of Park Rec Commissioners and Board Members will be honoring uh, Jim Rosenberg uh, posthumously. And uh, if you guys could attend, that would be just excellent to have all of us there. Yes. And um, so I just want to, so please come, all right? Tell your friends to come. Chair Marshall, I have a question. Yes, Mr. Chair, sure. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> In front of you, I gave a flyer uh, to Arden Vajeska, uh, uh, which is uh, a very, uh, if you haven't been there, it was, it's a very enjoyable park uh, celebrating uh, Helena Majeska, who immigrated from Poland, was a Shakespearean actress who in the 18, late uh, 1800s, she, she lived 18 years from 1888 to 1906 uh, at the home that was built there. And they're having a Shakespearean festival starting Saturday, July 23rd. Uh, you can make reservations, there's a reservation only, there's no charge. Uh, they have 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock, and 2 p.m. I encourage everyone, if you have the time, to, to plan to attend. It's a very enjoyable event. Uh, it so happens I'm a docent there, and we have tours uh, scheduled on Wednesdays and Saturdays at 10 o'clock on a reservation basis, no charge. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't been on a tour, I, I certainly would like to host you um, on a tour. Uh, if you want to get together as a group of commissioners, I can um, organize uh, the tour at uh, 12 noon. Uh, on a Saturday that would meet everyone's schedule. So if that's something of interest uh, that can be organized that way, because usually the weekends are typically better since uh, on the commission, uh, several of you work during the week. So if Saturdays work, uh, you can bring guests, bring um, whoever you like to have. Uh, you can bring your own lunch and it's a nice picnic area there. So uh, let me know, uh, we'll set up a date and uh, is that something that could be of interest to the commissioners? Yes, mm -hmm. Okay. Well, very good. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Chair. Um, and I just uh, one more comment I'd like to make. Um, again, just thank you uh, to Brett Channing, Laura Lisak, Vicki Blethin, and the recreation staff for the parade. And um, thank you for your support, um, Mr. Channing, uh, throughout my this is my fourth year. I can hardly believe it's my fourth year already. Um, and I want to, uh, again, Mr. Mayor, thank you for being present and attending these meetings and showing interest. I know you just had a meeting last night, so we appreciate your support of the Community Service Commission. And with that, if there's no other comments, um, the next meeting will be, I will tell you right now, the next meeting will be Wednesday, August 3rd at 6.30. August 3rd. The day after the National Night Out. So, anyway, if there's no other comments, uh, I would like to call this uh, July meeting adjourned. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Just about that. Yeah.
pictures. Did you send me one of those pictures? From yeah, the I, just, I sent you one earlier. I didn't get one this time. Well, I didn't get one in this time. No, because I didn't send oh, I'll, have, I'll call the message tomorrow. Okay. Mental illness. We look to the empower our young girls, help our youth with training, help them develop leadership skills, and provide support to our veterans, our older and elder, and support environmental initiatives 